Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to Salt and Pepper and at home with Atilio. This uh, pasta recipe, we're gonna go right into it. This is the easiest in the world, and this is an Italian original. What we call it is the midnight snack when the boys and the girls, they get home. This is the easiest thing to make. And what we call it is spaghetti. In this case, it would be linguine, spinach linguine, with uh, garlic, Pe uh, hot pepper and a little bit of tomato. The name all over the world is aglio, olio, and peperoncino, which means uh, garlic, olive oil, and hot pepper. But with a little diversion, something my dad used to use, a little bit of chopped tomatoes into it with make a world of difference. And uh, some, then we put some, uh, some crushed chili peppers, a little bit of salt, and uh, there is uh, cheese optional which you can use uh, Parmigiano, Romano, anything you like, okay? Or anything that's available in your part of the world or nothing at all. Now, we're gonna go right into the frying pan because we have to roast our garlic. And uh, this is, believe it or not, all the garlic we're gonna use. And don't be afraid of eating garlic because if garlic is cooked the right way or is saturated the right way or seared the right way, it won't smell. It's only good for your body. Okay, follow me and we'll see what happens over here. Right? We do the best we can. Turn it on, turn it on. This is a very, very fast recipe. It's gonna take a little bit of time to, f to roast the garlic, so I just gonna throw it in, okay? I mean, uh, garlic is garlic is garlic, and uh, as soon as the garlic is roasted, we'll just uh, keep on going, all right? Okay. So, can you see it's nicely golden roasted? And this is when we put, when we put the chopped garlic in there, which doesn't need to fry much, okay? If you guys bear with me, if you guys bear with me, i show you. See, it's already nice and golden. And then we put the tomatoes and the, the so-called pepperoncino, the hot pepper. The hot pepper, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, look at that beautiful flame, okay? And uh, the water is fast boiling. I mean, you know what, what, what boiling water looks like. Again, we put about a teaspoon of salt. Don't be afraid of putting a little, little salt. Just a touch of uh, olive oil so our pasta doesn't get stuck and uh, our choice of pasta, which is uh, spinach linguine. These ones aren't gonna take too long to cook, right? So our uh, garlic and, uh, and the hot pepper and tomato is ready, you know, with all the flames and all that kind of stuff. Crazy guy here. You don't have to do the flame at home. I do that because I like to do this show, and it's, <laughs> for me it's always funny every time I do it, and scares the, scares the hell out of the cameraman, and I love it. <laughs> but anyway, they're strong boys. So, we're gonna go with this. This doesn't take too long to cook, okay? So, I'll call you back as soon as uh, the pasta is done, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Don't go away. Okay, all right, this is ready, guys. Okay, come back here, come back. I told you I would call you back. I mean, what would I do? Okay, so now, you remember we didn't put any salt in the garlic and the tomato and the pepperoncino? Why do we didn't put any salt? Because we're gonna use some of this water for that, okay? Just a little bit of this water for that before we go drain this. And there is already salt in the water, so bear with me, we're gonna go to the sink and we're going to strain this okay i'm just gonna re get rid of all uh, the water we're gonna get rid of all the water and we do that very simple very simple we put this one on top we look at it and say oh boy that looks nice that's so green why is it green because it's spinach right and we put this guy on this side here we drop it there. And no flame, no cooking. Flame, cooking. Now, this is all is green, and you see a little bit of the tomato, a little bit of uh, the, 
a little bit of uh, the garlic, not as much as you would see it if you're using spaghetti, which is a, you know, a lighter kind of pasta, and that. And I'm gonna bring it right up there so you can see exactly what this looks like. We used a little bit of the water because the water's got the salt. And then uh, with the, the, with all of the, the flavor that there is uh, with the garlic and that, can you imagine what happens? Now, my friends, friends of salt and pepper, this is as ready as it could be. Just follow me, follow me, my friends, and uh, I'll show you what we do with this. We just grab it with our tongs like that. We put it right in, what a nice aroma. What a beautiful aroma, okay. You don't have to put all the juice and then that's it. That's it, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me get rid of, let me get rid of this baby here. There you go, we don't need that anymore. And the garlic, remember, garlic is excellent for you. Now, would someone like a little bit of uh, Parmesan in it or not? We'll put a little bit of, uh, instead of Parmesan, we put a little bit of Romano, as I, as I say, it's optional, but mostly it's, uh, to give it a little bit of color because it's got all the flavor. And remember, olive oil, just go like this with the olive oil. Then you swiftly go like that, as anybody would go in any kitchen. And uh, my friends, friends of salt and pepper, again, buon appetito.